your saxophone is a very important part of playing this instrument. This takes less than three minutes to do, and if you've never swabbed out your instrument before, it is super easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is get your swab out, and as you get it out and unravel it, or untangle it, however it is in your case, you wanna check the string for any knots along the way before you put it into your horn. If you find any knots in the string, make sure that you untangle it all completely before you put it into your saxophone. That way it doesn't snag onto anything as you pull it through and clean your instrument. After my swab is unraveled, I take my neck and my mouthpiece and I start with this. The reason for this is that I don't like to just clean the body of my saxophone. Everything that I play, I like to make sure it goes back into my case dry and clean, so I start with the mouthpiece first. What I do next is take the weight of my swab and thread it through the hole of my mouthpiece, like this. And once I get it pulled about halfway through, I grab my mouthpiece and then I run the swab back and forth a few times like this so that the mouthpiece gets nice and dry. This is just an easier way of cleaning out the mouthpiece instead of taking the thread and running it through every time. You don't have to do that with the mouthpiece. You can just go back and forth and clean it out like this. <laughs> All right, nice and dry. We're good to go and put that back in our case. And then I will do the same thing with the neck. Again, thread the string through, pull it about halfway so that it sticks out of both ends like this and take the swab and pull it back and forth so that the neck gets nice and dry as well. In order to make sure that it is nice and dry, I'll just take my finger and check here, and I'm not pulling any moisture or feeling it on my finger, so we're good to go. This goes back in the case. The last piece of this is cleaning out the body of the saxophone, and this is also pretty easy as well. We're gonna take the weight of the swab and put it into the bell first like this, and then gently take the string and sort of stack it inside, which is easier to do standing up, not sitting down. So there we have the swab in the bell of the saxophone. The weight is somewhere down here. So all I need to do now is gently tip it upside down so that the string falls out just like that. And this is good to know too, actually, when I tipped it upside down, I got tangled up with this knot. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I don't think it'll pick it up. But you get the idea that I'm gonna have to untangle this first before I put it back through the saxophone. That is important to watch for just in case you've put it through and it has a knot in it. So I'll pull the rest out, put my saxophone down gently, find that knot and untangle it before I put it back through. So that took me just a second, but my string is now not free, so this is good to go for another pass through the saxophone. What probably happened is as I was putting it inside the bell, which again, I normally do standing up, is that it got twisted around and looped around itself, which sometimes happens even if you are making sure that it goes in nice and straight. Sometimes it just tangles up anyway. And as you are tipping it along, sometimes it comes out with a knot in it. But this time was a nice clean pass and I can just go for one more swab to make sure that everything is nice and dry. I'm getting a little moisture right now. Three times is probably good for now. But three times is also not a magic number either. It all depends on how long you've been playing your saxophone and just how much moisture you personally put into the instrument, which is gonna vary for everyone. Sometimes one swab through the instrument is good for me. Sometimes I need to go five or six to get this thing nice and dry. The idea is that you are not putting your horn back into the case with any excess moisture. And if you do that, this is where the health benefits of the swab come into play. If you put your saxophone back into your case and it's got lots of condensation or moisture, what happens is that the pads wear a little bit easier, bacteria and gross things can grow inside your horn, and just cleaning out your saxophone helps it remain in just good shape as far as the looks and the functionality of everything. So for me personally, I clean my horn every time that I play, even if it's for five minutes or five hours, I get all the benefits of cleaning out my horn. 
The final step for me is putting the end cap back into the top part of my saxophone body. And then to tighten the screw just a little bit so that it remains snug, not too tight. And now we have a nice, happy saxophone body. It's ready to go take a nap back in its case. It's not gonna grow any mold or anything inside and it's gonna be in better shape because I just spent just a couple minutes taking that swab and making sure everything got dry. One last thing to note about the cleaning process is that if you have a swab that has either some foam in it or some sort of object in the center of the swab like I have in this one, this can be too thick for the mouthpiece and the neck and you would not wanna to try to put this through either of those things. You should never force any swab through any part of the instrument, whether that be the body, the neck, or the mouthpiece. So if your particular swab that you have does not fit in your mouthpiece or neck, don't try to force it through. You're gonna get it stuck and probably have to take it to a music store where you're gonna have to pay money for them to take it out. Obviously, you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep things cheap and safe. So don't force anything through any part of your instrument ever. I personally use two swabs when I clean my instrument out, this purple one for the neck and the mouthpiece and this gray one for the body. This gray one has a little more absorbency to it and it also is a little thicker, meaning it has a little more contact as I pull it through the inside of the saxophone body. It just grabs the moisture a little bit better than this purple one. But I use this purple one for the demonstration because for several years I only had a silk swab like this and it worked perfectly fine. I just had to run it through the body a few more times than this one, but you don't have to have two swabs. This is just what I do. You need to find something that works for you and that cleans out your instrument without getting stuck. And that's really it. Cleaning out your saxophone is extremely simple. And once you get into a routine, it is well worth your time investing in the care of your instrument. If you have any questions on the cleaning process, on products, on different types of saxophone cleaning maintenance, be sure to leave those questions in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate your consideration in subscribing to the channel. Thanks for stopping by y'all and I hope you enjoy making music.